Hello guys, what's up again? And this is Alphamel23. Yesterday's video, I've shown you uh, how to use your digital module into an online learning uh, setup using LMS. Okay, so uh, that's using interactive book. This time, we will have uh, another in LMS tutorials featuring the H5P drag and drop. Okay guys, so let's start. So again, all you need to, to have is, of course, your school should have an LMS. And uh, like our school, we have uh, an online class, Tagum City National High School, so we have an LMS. And the digital modules, uh, uh, life hacks, you, you open two copy of the digital module, one for the activity and uh, one for the answer key para madali lang no? so para hindi ka na mag scroll down and again move up for the activity try to look at the answer like that so you just have to uh, control tab na lang para diretso sa next tab for the answer key and the activity so uh, drag and drop so what first we have to uh, go to our course my course is grade 10 science and uh, i have already uh, downloaded i mean uh, made a number of activities here and in this case we are in the module 2 and i like the activity in the module so i will just have to lift this into our lms okay and make it interactive so and uh, I have uh, I I have already mm, figured this out. Uh, it can be used as a drag and drop. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Let's have this. First, go to the content bank. Okay, you may uh, open a new tab so that you can uh, just refer to the your dashboard. Uh, once you have done it already and in the editing of the H5P drag and drop itself this is your you go to the content bank okay so first add then find the drag and drop okay so we have here drag and drop okay Shut up, dog. Okay, and so we have here drag and drop. So, or we can uh, we can use the title in the activity. Say, for example, riddle me up, riddle me this. Okay, so we use. So
Okay, so yeah, we're back. We're back. Okay, so again. Uh, uh, we can copy the title of the activity. Riddle me this: What EM wave am I? So, pwede niyan jan. Okay. We can all add also background image. So uh, let's just use the backgrounds that I have uh, already made here. I mean, downloaded free background. Okay, yan EM wave, kasi wave yan, no? so yan, pwede. Okay, and then, so that is your background image. That's step number one. After that, you go to step number two, task. So you have the image, the background image you already uploaded. And then, so in the task, let's uh, click the image here. And then we will add image. So, in adding image, we will use this image here that they we have created so from the module. So, just uh, snip and snitch. S oh wait, wait, wait. Snip. You. It is not shown in the video, but. Uh, you know how to snip and snitch I guess so or if you do not know that uh, we'll have if you if you want just comment on the comment section of this video if you want a tutorial on shortcuts of snip and snitch what is happening okay so wait uh, snip and okay so save in the pictures and okay so I have, I have already the image saved so you will just have to go to the pictures that's where I save it there you go and copy I mean open and insert okay so this is uh, EM wave again the alternative text if in case the learner cannot view the fi the image or the figure or illustration it will show this uh, text okay the hover text again uh, this is when the lear the student or learner hover over the image it, it, again it will show this text okay background so just click it done so we have the image here make it larger appear like that and uh, you, I, uh, in my case I need this space here for the options so I'll put it this side or uh, yeah this side okay because I have to put also uh, maybe instructions here above okay so we have the image here coming from the module next is uh, okay uh, we will use the let's have a uh, uh, little instruction for of course for the learners to to follow no, so that they can uh, they know how to do the drag and drop so copy and then go to the con the drag and drop again click this text icon here and insert the text in the text box that's it no and uh, we will reduce the size because uh, uh, it so that it will not take much space in our uh, in the in the in the output later and uh, mm, background we can add background it's an option or you can uh, you can also remove background so in this case let's have no background opacity so okay so we have here the image the text that we have pasted so as you can see 
it's not visible because the color of the text is uh, also the same with the background so in this case we'll just have to uh, edit the text so just click edit and then highlight the text and then change the color of the text say white and again let's reduce the size to 68 point eh? because it it does not fit with the uh, where is that all right control c and no control c and reduce the size and done okay so again it's it's still gray so i think uh, hindi na ano na ta control z pala natin eh? so uh, na undo natin okay highlight and then change the color white okay so that's it okay so it's visible no so um, we can also uh, center this or mm, yeah let's edit let's put the ba the text in the center oh, where is that okay uh, it's loading okay no we can't wait for that so uh, let's just leave that as it is and the next step still on uh, the task portion is that we will add text okay so the text that we'll be adding are in the hint box so we will use this text here to uh, later on we will use that in the drag and drop in the drag po portion oh, if you see that those will be the ones we will be dragged later on so x-ray maybe let's change the font uh, let's just stay default for the meantime and then done okay yeah. you can have uh, background or none it's uh, an option uh, let's see later I which will appear uh, nice to the students that's that's the one we will use okay let's have this visible light text click paste done so that's how it it's going it's going to be for a few minutes okay another copy and then text paste done okay again you can edit this one the size of the text the background the color it's depending on uh, your preference next infrared text paste done and another just go back to the module digital module and then text paste done okay this is as easy as uh, copy paste copy pasting okay copy text paste done again guys this is how we're going to do it greetings muna binabati ko yung aking mga subscribers Thank you for subscribing and continue to support our channel by liking this video and sharing this to others who who are uh, doing LMS in their school. Okay, so we have here. Let's check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven waves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's done now you have the the text that you're you're going to drag and drop somewhere here in the space the blue spaces provided so next is uh, the drop zone 
Okay, so the drop zone is that it's where you're going to put the it's where you're going to put the text or you drop the drag text. Okay, so let's just cop copy the same text here, paste, and this time let's have no background opacity so that we can still view the image like that so again we can still see the image here and then put it where where uh, should be uh, in terms of its text uh, its x-ray so let's put it to the description of an x-ray okay so let's go this time we will use the answer key so let's go to the answer key so radio wave infrared x-ray third Okay, third box. Okay, so we have here third box. I think this is the third box. Ah, okay, so we have here third mm, box in a, in a in a row. No. Okay, third box in a row. That's X-ray. So again, we will create another drop zone, and let's name it. Uh, according to ano na lang according to the answer key yan infrared infrared okay so there's something uh, clerical typographical error in the answer key but anyways still have the that's uh, understandable okay so we have here uh, infrared second second column to the ano okay so second column this blank box here okay oh wait the image has uh, wait can be detected let's just check no through your body and can give you vision at night okay correct next is the radio wave yeah and let's copy the radio wave put it in the drop box i mean drop zone paste zero background so that we can still see the blue box that has been uh, we have copied from the module like that okay be sure to just fit it uh, in the box next so we are down to four microwaves so maybe the, this is in the first box now again add drop zone S opacity will be zero and then uh, i think this is the the answer let's just check uh, double check so that we will not be mistaken i have sound that goes beep beep what time do I keep? And many functions is to hit. Okay, correct. So next is gamma. Okay, so let's have gamma, gamma, gamma ray or gamma. Anyway, they they cannot uh, see the the text behind the drop the drop zone. So only the only the editor can see this. So okay, lang yan gamma. Rays. But uh, we are referring to as the gamma ray. So shortest, uh, I can make you tan and okay, parang dito ata yung gamma ray. Okay, next is the UV and so you can we can use UV or ultraviolet. So it doesn't matter again once it. Again, the drop box is just for the the label of the box, so the the learner cannot see the UV term, but only uh, uh, broken rectangles like this one, broken broken line rectangles. Okay, we're down to last one. Copy visible. Oh wait. Okay, visible light. Okay, copy and drop box and then paste like that okay and then zero the background opa opacity 
and then fill the space provided for uh, for the answer to be dropped down there so we're done with the third step I think fourth or third step next is uh, we're going to put uh, we're going to edit the text that we've made and let's put this uh, a drop drop zone so in this case let's just select all okay so what does this this mean is that the thir the the text x-ray we can put it anywhere in the drop zones so, okay so that uh, mm, the the student or the learner will have a chance to put it in the wrong uh, drop zone to provide mistakes no para there there's a chance that we can chance of uh, having the incorrect drop zone okay so same goes with the rest of the electromagnetic waves select all done edit select all done so it's just easy guys select all done all done all done and finally one all select all and done okay you can adjust the text to a little space from uh, each other okay even text uh, needs spaces okay so that's it now let's go back to the drop zone and let's uh this time we will check only the answer to the particular box okay so click edit in the drop zone and whatever the text that it appears here that that is the one that you will be selecting only in the texas okay the text texas not texas <laughs> but text okay okay so so we have here radio check done okay it's just easy right i think it uh, it's easy to follow if not just comment guys in the right box for my uh, to improve our presentation tutorial okay so that's the labels microwave so let's check also the microwave it means that the text microwave if put in the drop zone of the microwave labeled microwave it's correct so it's it uh, it's the answer key in short. Infrared, check the infrared, done. Uh, next UV, check UV rays, done. And then edit uh, X-ray, check the X-ray, and done. And edit visible light, check the visible light and done I, let's check the second box i think i haven't checked this yet okay i, I will check it okay guys so that's it guys it's already done that's the how to uh, use drag and drop and now let's try if it works and there are other options here you can uh, put for uh, additional interact interaction of the for the learners you can uh, in we can enable retry if you want the students to retry and apply penalties uh, that is uh, so that we can score the student right like uh, right minus wrong ang the setup here no? okay so let's just save it and let's view and try to see if it works then uh, that's it okay so let's try to answer uh, x-ray so where is the x-ray i do not know is where are the x-ray so again the student should put it in the right box visible light maybe here gamma rays infrared here let's uh let's randomly select the other so that we can see the correct and right and then let's check okay so we have there so 
one easy score because that is four check and three excess three wrong so right minus wrong that's one over six and of course he can retry if you want for practice okay so uh, it's working guys and it's good okay so that's it that's how the drag and drop is to be done now if you want this you can add to your course already so uh, in adding it in your course you just turn editing on and then uh, go to where you want to put it add an activity or resource here that's that's where this is h5p because that is our application we use so we can rename it later and let's wait for the the box here to load okay so we have here add go to your content bank and then oh, you can uh, edit this to the last modified okay so we have this riddle me select and then check press select this file and then you have options here you can allow download embed grade you can have okay point grade 100 attempt options highest grade correct activity completion let's mark the show activity as complete when conditions are met so that uh, the student will not skip this part okay then save and return to course and uh, okay so there you go we have the applications here we name it as the sd we will it can be easily edit first let's sub align this one here move to the right move to the right and then edit no so let's uh, just copy one here like this one copy that's that, that is how uh, easy to edit this one because I don't like typing text okay and let's just edit few little uh, this one and then go back to the other content yeah and copy this one here yeah okay so it's just copy paste guys no? Oh wait, no, no wala. Okay, so uh, let's go back to where again copy this text here and then put it in our new made drag and drop. And then uh, delete some or little things and then press enter so that the edit is finalized. And that's it, guys. That's a drag and drop uh, using our module, converting it into an interactive application, drag and drop in an online, online learning or schooling. Okay? So, so that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have comments, suggestions, just comment in our set. Uh, comment sections leave a like hit the notification bell and if you want you can share this guys thank you and see you in the next video